Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with day two of the Righteous Fire progression. Um, and if you'll notice, I've been progressing a lot slower in this one considering we're on day two and we're not in red maps. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to explain what I've been doing. So, um, of course, you know, we are an official Righteous Fire build. But what I have done is <clears throat> there's a trick you can do in SSF and you could even do this in Trade League where you can essentially come to Foothills, and I don't think it has to be Foothills, but Foothills is the most comfortable for this. And essentially, you can spam reset the zone. So if you see here, it says like, enter the Syndicate Laboratory. Um, you can actually spam reset the zone just like this, as I am doing now. And you can piss off GGG's servers um, while being able to kind of force the betrayal encounters along with delirium encounters. For us specifically, it was for betrayal encounters and you'll know one pops up, it could take you quite a bit. Um, when on the right hand side here, it kind of flags and pops that orange quest text that you saw earlier. But anyway, I'm not gonna do that here, right? We already did enough of that. Um, so with that being said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop open this sheet really fast to show you guys kind of our progression. So today, sorry for the flashbang, we unlock 10% life is ES from Gravicious. We unlocked plus one AOE gems, all hybrid chaos res, uh, fire multi, um, a fire damage and ignite chance, minimum frenzy, increased damage on rings, and increased damage during flask effect. I also got some other stuff like 8% life um, and mana, but these were like the more important ones. So, with that being said, um, <clears throat> this character still has not moved past Act 9, um, and I want to go ahead and show you some of my gear. So, this one was essentially, I just got a scepter and unveiled it, and that's how I got T1 fire multi. Um, there was literally nothing else to it. I just picked up the item off the floor, unveiled it at Jun, and then since it already had fire damage, I just crafted increase, and it's still usable. This helmet is way too overpowered for my current level. Uh, essentially, this helmet dropped. I unveiled life, well, basically not life. I unveiled the physical damage from hits, which is only from Corel. Uh, it came with increased life regen, and then I crafted my hybrid chaos res. Uh, this shield we picked up during the leveling phase. I still need to craft a suffix for it, but it's just for damage. It's got that plus one fire. Uh, just a standard devout chainmail I picked up off the floor and ID'd. Nothing. It's actually really shit. Uh, this ring, actually, we unveiled and got the fire damage craft. So you can see it's got fire damage with res and life. It's pretty solid. Um, this ring was still from when we were wintertide because of that cast speed. I'll have to replace this one. This amulet I found on the floor before Mervale and haven't replaced it yet. Definitely need to replace it. These boots we just recently found, uh, basically 30% movement speed with uh, res. <clears throat> our gloves are really bad. Uh, and our, our belt, we actually unveiled the armor, so we have a really thick armor roll there. Uh, so that pretty much is all. That's awesome. We're at 19,000 armor, haven't even entered maps yet. But there is more to this story than that. We have also done a Katarina fight. Uh, we have the <clears throat> Devouring Didum. Uh, again, have not cleared Katava yet. We're still in foothills. And with that being said, let us go fight another Katava. Or not Katava, sorry, Katarina. Katarina is pretty much the only thing left um, for me to fight in terms of what I care about right now. So I'm still looking for the life... Uh, sorry, 3% life regen during flask effect, but uh, naturally I can't have that yet, right? I mean, unless I get it right now on this kill, it's pretty unlikely. So um, that will be farmed later via our Atlas passive tree, which we can talk about a little later. But since I often get a lot of questions about the Atlas passive tree, I figured now would be a nice time to talk about them. So <clears throat> what I plan on doing right away is probably just immediately going into harvest. Um, I, I know a lot of people think about Essence, but I personally think Harvest is far superior to Essence in the early game for me. Uh, I like just picking up bases off the floor and just basically reforge life or reforge, can't reforge anything essentially. Uh, and that allows me to secure very good life regen gear in the early game. Uh, and then that allows me to kind of push into higher tier maps and damage I can kind of get a little bit later. Uh, since I don't necessarily really need too much Essence until we have a Elder Helmet to actually use those horrors on. Uh, of course, again, there are so many methods with PoE crafting. You've got um, <clears throat> you've got fossils via Delve, you've got Harvest, you have Essence spamming. You can technically even get good stuff with Betrayal. 
Um, so yeah, harvest is something that we're going to be focusing on. Oh, I forgot to summon my golem, but that's okay. We also, if you noticed, ended up getting a Witchfire Brew. It was from one of our safe houses. That was a pretty lucky find as well. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um, should put offline there. Uh, oh, I need to go here. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can get one shot from Katarina still, sadly. Um, not that it really matters too much. One other nice thing about doing this is I did I did end up dying, but the strategy we were talking about before with the um, <clears throat> with the betrayal farming and like delirium farming, etc., you have to be under level 72 or else it will not work. So you can actually de-level yourself in Path of Exile if you vendor a scouring orb along with a wisdom scroll. So we were basically getting to level 71 at 95%. And then after that, I would use a D-level book and immediately drop down to level 70. That way I could keep on repeating the process. Katarina, are you going to drop me a nice flask? Yeah, I would really appreciate it. I don't actually remember all of the different drops you can get from Katarina. There's the there's the cane of cool Mac. There's a body armor, I think. There's the helmet. There's a flask. I really don't remember all the stuff. Oop, what am I doing in there? Oh, she's done. You can still join us. Come on, Katarina. Give me a flask. Give me a flask. Come on. Let this be the playthrough. You can do it. Oh, there's a flask. No way. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, can I unveil that John right here? Ooh. No. 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 Okay, then. Maybe then. Maybe then. Got it. Uh, so then in that case, let me just go to town right now and see if I can unveil. So just to confirm, what we're looking for right here is the 3% life regen per second during flask effect. We did not get it, so that's unlucky, but that's okay though. That's still fine. Uh, I'm probably going to take this because this actually sort of kind of helps. Um, but yeah, that's still cool though. Doing Katarina in Axe makes me kind of happy. So we're just going to put that there and uh, that's pretty much about it. There's really not much else to say. Uh, I can kind of go over my links a little. So I've got Infernal Cry, Determination, Purity of Elements. I don't really use Infernal Cry yet. Uh, I have to put this note in, but I didn't really do it because since I'm constantly de-leveling, I guess I could have replaced this with this, but anyway, I usually take Call to Arms um, right when I enter maps, but you can absolutely take it earlier, especially if you're going to use like Enduring Cry and stuff. Remember that when we get to this section on the tree, this is when we drop Vitality. You want to make sure you also remove the Vitality Life Mastery from whichever one you have it in. Um, yeah, so we've got Life Tap, Controlled Destruction, Burn Damage, Fire Trap. This would be better with Trap and Mind Damage, but I don't feel like recoloring the helmet right now. Uh, summon Stone Golem, which was not even out. Malevolence and Defiance Banner. Uh, Frost Blink, Life Tap, Flammability, Hex Touch. Uh, Life Tap, Shield Charge, Faster Attacks. And then Ellie Focus, Ink AoE, Righteous Fire, Burning Damage. And then I've just got a Molten Shell down here. Uh, and our off gems, we're leveling four Righteous Fires and a Trap and Mind Damage to use for later, along with a Life Tap when I flip the Life Taps. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. <clears throat> Remember that I do take Sundays off, so there will not be an update video, but on Monday, we will continue with day three, and you'll be able to find that on the actual SSF goals. It'll be posted in the sheets 
just right here. Uh, so this day two would basically go literally right here. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Well, I guess Monday. Have a good one.